We're flying from Mexico City to Los Mochis in Sinaloa today because we're going to visit the Copper Canyon. It's just a short hop from Los Mochis to El Fuerte where we're staying in this rather nice hotel. Fuerte has quite a cute little town centre actually with this little green and little church. Cheers. Cheers. First beers in a new town, El Fuerte. We're going to get a train from here tomorrow up to Copper Canyon and the train ride is supposed to be one of the most amazing train rides you can do in the world so we're really looking forward to that. One of El Fuerte's claims to fame is that the fictional hero Zorro was born in the town. There's a small museum here and the roof has this amazing view out over the Rio El Fuerte. The clock tower in this town is very tuneful. It's a different tune every time. I have no idea why. Well, it's certainly a very comfortable train. We've opted for tourist class, which is kind of the middle level. The journey will take around six hours up to the rim of Copper Canyon, getting off at a place called Divisadero. It's supposed to be one of the epic train journeys in the world with just breathtaking views, and I don't think I would dispute that. The train's going pretty slowly, but that's nice because we can just soak up the views. Salud! Cheers! Kind of a posh dining car, isn't it? It's fantastic. With uh, really good views. first stop called San Rafael just before the visit area. These people are from the Tarahumara indigenous group who live around here. We've arrived at the visit area. This is our guide Mike. He's arranged the trek into the Copper Canyon for us. It's just uh, two or three miles to our hotel. It's nice to actually stretch our legs after that train journey. So excited, this is where we're going to be going over the next few days. Just looks stunning, doesn't it? That long canyon, the kind of dog legs, mm -hmm. that's our route. We're setting off on a six day hike into the canyon today. Just come to load up the donkeys. We have to take uh, tents and food. So we thought it'd be a bit much just for us to carry it all. We're the only two people who signed up for this trek. There's not very many tourists who do it, actually. Our guide is the only one who offers this, and he only does the trip probably once or twice a year with just a handful of people each time. The donkeys are all loaded up, and we're off. The first few miles this morning is just along the rim, and then we're going to be camping at a Tarahumaran village this evening. We have a Tarahumaran guide with us called Hilo. He's brought his two dogs who are absolutely lovely. We've also got four donkeys, plus a little baby donkey who's in training. And another Tarahumaran who's looking after the donkeys and he's brought his son along just for the fun of it.
What's for lunch, Mike? Um, dolmas and uh, fried eggplant. Mm, yum. It's kind of Mediterranean. Okay. And crack. You're interested in what he's saying now, aren't you? That's you want to know it. what's for lunch? I, I, uh, I put the carrots <laughs> in the cuisine yesterday. I washed them. Nice. Tarahumarans, of course, are famous for their long distance running and ultra marathons. The success of this has been all the more astonishing for the fact that they wear um, homemade shoes made out of car tyres. We're just coming into the Tarahumaran village now. You see these cornfields and the odd house. I would quite call it a village. I've only counted two or three houses so far. Be camping just up ahead next to this house here. This is a very typical Tarahumaran house. It's usually the kids that look after the goats. They pipe fresh spring water down to a tank on their property, which they're letting us have some of tonight, which is very nice of them. We'll give them a little bit of money for firewood and feed for the donkeys and the water, of course. I'm just helping clear a bit of the donkey poo away from the main camp area. So this is absolutely fantastic. Mike's instituted a happy hour at camp. He's making margaritas with fresh oranges. Cheers. 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 Salud. <laughs> I think this is my first ever camping margarita. What have we got here? Right, so we've got a tortilla that this lady has made in this house over here. Fresh, it's still warm. With homemade pico de gallo. Oh, it's so good. A bit of cheese. And I've still got some margarita. And the fire's roaring, so <laughs> this is pretty good. <laughs> Here's where we are. The chef at work. We're just packing up the camp and getting ready to go, loading the donkeys. This is the foal here. He's so cute. It's about a year and a half old and still suckling off mum. We've walked back up to where we stopped for lunch yesterday and it's at this point that we start to go down into the canyon. Quite a tricky path, really steep and quite a lot of loose rocks. We're just going quite slowly and taking our time. It's time for a spot of lunch. We've spotted a praying mantis. It's getting warmer as we get lower into the canyon. It was a little chilly last night, but it's certainly not cold anymore. Look at the roots of this tree. They're amazing, aren't they? Just growing in the rock like that. This is another nice spot for camping tonight. <laughs> and the chef's at work already. Happy hour is not very far off. We're just going to chill for a bit. It's a gorgeous morning this morning. And um, we're uh, hiking down to the floor of the canyon today. Where we stopped last night was about a third of the way from the top, so we've got about two thirds of the descent to do today. 
We set off a little ahead of the donkeys this morning, so they're just catching up with us now. It's getting much hotter as we get lower in the canyon. Here we are at our campsite for the next couple of nights. We're just putting an awning up to protect from the sun. Our campsite's right near this river. We're going to go for a bit of a dip. We're both really hot and also quite dirty. So here we are at the bottom of Copper Canyon. And we're just cooling off in the river. How does that feel? Let's go! <laughs> Nice, just sitting in the cool water and watching the vultures circling overhead. It's been another really fun day, hiking and swimming. Now time to chill a bit before bed. Just doing a little day hike today. There's a nice waterfall that we're going to. Ben's been suffering from vertigo a little bit. Places this path just kind of falls away to the cliff. So he's just waiting around the corner for us to get back. This farm belongs to Hilo's friend and this uh, farmhouse here is just a temporary accommodation for him. He lives up on the rim most of the time. Hilo's given us each a small bottle of lechuguilla, just the local liquor. <laughs> <laughs> How is it, Catherine? How's your first taste of lechuguilla? Well, how much did you have? Because it doesn't look like there's hardly any missing. I know. You know? <laughs> you drink it out of all you have another cup. Oh, oh, look, the paint's coming off. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's making what he calls a campsite breakfast for us for tomorrow morning. Got roast potatoes on the go. And poppers are going on the grill. He's roasting onions as well as potatoes, and all of this will get mashed up and put into a tortilla. Sounds delicious. This is the end result for the cooking last night. It's absolutely delicious. So just packing up camp and heading out again today. We're going to hike back up to where we stopped the night before last. Halfway up the canyon. Should be much easier going uphill. The loose scree underfoot won't worry us quite so much. Just enjoying the last views of the river. It's been so much fun swimming here. Oh man, that is actually hot. As oh. hot as a bath? As hot as a really hot bath, yeah. <laughs> right. One that would take you like 15 minutes to get into. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's nice.
see those white cliffs on the horizon there that's where we're gonna stop for lunch looks like the canyon rim from here but it's not getting there though Here come the donkeys again. We're at the top of the white cliff section that we saw from below. From here it's uh, undulating really. Done most of the up now. Just about 4k left to go. This last section has been so hot, but it's been a really lovely walk, just stunning views. And we're back. This is Hilo's house, so we'll unpack the donkeys and leave them here, and then it's just a five minute walk or so to the hotel. What an absolutely fantastic expedition this has been. We're just sitting here waiting for the bus to Chihuahua. It's quite late. Should have been here an hour ago. Oh good, here it is. This bus journey should take about six hours. The train does actually go to Chihuahua, but it doesn't set off until 4pm. You can't see much in the dark anyway, so we'd just rather get the bus. We're just coming into Chihuahua now. We thought it'd just be nice to go back to Mexico City via a different route, just to see a different part of the country. This is the central plaza in Chihuahua. And if I turn around, I can see the big cathedral behind me. Our flight back to Mexico City isn't until early evening, so we've got most of the day just to wander around. This is the central shopping street. There's some pretty grand looking buildings here and a few museums that look quite interesting so we might poke our noses into those. We've just stumbled upon this local government office and we're allowed in and it's quite interesting they've got murals all the way around depicting Chihuahua's history of course. And this is the main museum it sounds like there's a live band inside. It worth a little peek? I should mention that Chihuahua is kind of famous for being the cowboy capital of Mexico. There's just so many shops with cowboy boots in. Time for a quick beer before we head off to the airport. It's been an absolutely fantastic trip. The hike was just amazing to see this part of Mexico that we've not been to before.